We are learning more tonight about the baby that died after being left in a hot minivan. First responders tried desperately to save the infant, but three month old Caden Wynn died at the scene. Ross Gadotti has been looking into this tragedy and how child advocates say there's technology available to prevent this. Ross. Yeah, there sure is. We're going to show you that in a little bit. Allegheny County homicide detectives right now, however, interviewing family members and others to try to figure out who was with this child, how this all happened, how this little baby ended up in the back of a black SUV on one of the hottest days of the year. Investigators say that little Caden Nuwan likely spent three hours trying to survive inside a vehicle whose temperatures likely soared to 130 degrees and beyond. Every year, about 39 children on average die in hot cars. Amber Rollins of KidsInCars.org. It's an organization that lobbies for higher safety measures for children traveling in automobiles. The sad thing is that these tragedies, they just don't discriminate. This can happen to anybody. Kids in Cars' own study of these incidents shows the vast majority of children who die in hot cars are simply forgotten about. The next largest group are kids who gain access to vehicles on their own and lock themselves in. But Rollins says the technology to stop these tragedies is out there and the federal government is looking to mandate it into new cars in the future. This technology has been around. It's cost efficient, less than $50 a vehicle. They don't have to wait. They can do this today if they want to. The technology is readily available to them. And, you know, every day that they delay putting this in their cars, more children are at risk. All right, let me read you a statement from the Allegheny County Homicide or the police, Allegheny County Police Homicide Division. When they said our department is working closely with the Allegheny County District Attorney's Office and the Medical Examiner's Office. Now, when the Medical Examiner's Office determines the cause and manner of death, a charging decision will be made at that time. Live in Upper St. Clair, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.